to the lingering health concerns near the explosion. Take a look at this amateur video obtained by Eyewitness News. This was taken the morning after the blast. Midtown, an absolute ghost town, and you can see the debris is everywhere. Assurances from the mayor that the air quality is safe from asbestos. Many people say they don't believe it. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson continues our team coverage on the east side. Kimberly? Paul Shade, once again, Mayor Bloomberg went on record today confidently assuring people there is no asbestos in the air here. But after two and a half days of testing, many people aren't buying it. Why do you have it on? Ah, protection for me from this. It hangs at the back of their minds. The possibility that over time they'll develop some kind of illness as a result of Wednesday's massive explosion and that the asbestos laced steam pipe will be the source. I felt real sick for all suddenly because we've been working around the area all day. The mayor, Department of Environmental Protection, Office of Emergency Management, and other health officials have gone on record assuring people it is unlikely anyone will experience long term health problems because of the rupture. Air quality tests show no sign of asbestos and only trace amounts have been found in pieces of debris. I think it's very difficult for somebody to get asbestosis or mesothelioma from that. Tony Nusito has studied asbestos for more than two decades and has just developed a first of its kind disposal process for the potentially lethal material. He says two very important facts surrounding the midtown explosion lead him to believe physicians will not see a rash of illnesses anywhere near what they've seen since September 11. Due to the fact that it was wet, it shouldn't really have spread to many places. And due to the fact that when it settled, that 42nd Street is a cross street, there is no buildings blocking wind from either direction, you probably don't have any asbestos in the air. Dr. Ron